solution, rotate within the timeless now, and move as one. The cosmic lords from their high place, view the past, control the now, and ponder on the baby with us. The loss of the eternal sound, the product of the time that was, surmount a sevenfold display. Within the ring pass not the word of love sounds forth. The sevenfold lords proceed with just vibration to carry out the work. They sound forth each a note of the deep logoic chord. Each to his greater lord makes record due. In the solemn breathing forth the forms are built, the color just a portion, and the flame within reveals itself with ever-growing light. The Lord of Blue, who gathereth all within the Ark of Buddy, soundeth his note. To their source return the other six, blending their color diverse within their primary. Blue to the green is added and completion quick is seen. The vibration of the third is added to the one. Blue to the orange blends, and in their wise admixture is seen the stable scheme. To the yellow and the red, to the purple and the ultimate is the vibration of the seventh adjusted as the primary. Each of the seven lords, within their seven schemes, adjusted to the second karmic circle, merge. 24. STANZASOFDZYAN25 Their migrating spheres and blend their myriad atoms. The forms through which they work, the lesser million spheres, the cause of separation and the curse of the Asaurus, shatter when sounds the sacred word within a point in time. The life will go it surges out. The streams of color melt together. The forms are left behind, and Paragram stands complete. The Lord of the Cosmic Third utters a word unknown. The sevenfold lesser word forms part of the vast accord. The now becomes the time that was. We neon merget into space. The word of motion hath been heard. The word of love succeedeth. The past controls the form. The now evolves the life. The day that is to be sounds forth the word of power. The form perfected and the life evolved holds the third secret of the greater wheel. It is the hidden mystery of living motion. The mystery, lost in the now but known to the Lord of Cosmic Will. S-T-A-N-Z-A-I-X the 30,000 million watchers refused to heed the call. We enter not the forms, they said, until the seventh eon. The twice 30,000 million hearkened to the call and took the forms design. The rebellious ones lapped within themselves, and sought for laic peace until the seventh eon. But, the seven great lords called to the greater Chohans, and with the eternal loss of the third cosmic heaven entered into debate. The victim then went forth. The laggards in the highest sphere heard it echo through the scheme. Not till the seventh eon, but at the fourteenth seventh will the chance again come round. The first shall be the last and time be lost for eons. The obedient sons of mind connected with the sons of heart, and evolution spiraled on its way. The sons of power stayed in their appointed place, though cosmic karma forced a handful to join the sons of heart. At the 14th 7th eon, the sons of mind and heart, absorbed by endless flame, will join the sons of will, in manvanteric manifestation. Three times the wheel will turn. At the center stand the Buddhas of activity, helped by the Lords of Love, and following their twofold work will come the Radiant Lords of Power. The Buddhas of creation from out the past have. 26. S-T-A-N-Z-A-S-O-F-D-Z-Y-A-N 27. 
Come, the Buddhas of love are gathering now. The Buddhas of will at the final turn of the third major rule will flash into being. The end will then be consummated. Stanzak. The fifth progressive end from the remnants of the fourth multiplied and reproduced. The waters arose. All sank and was submerged. The sacred remnant, in the place appointed, emerged at later date from out the zone of safety. The waters dissipated. The solid ground emerged in certain destined places. The fifth ore ran the sacred land, and in their fivefold groups developed the lower fifth. They passed from stage to stage. The watching lords, recognizing the ruthless form, gave a sign to the circulating fourth and it speeded faster on its way. When the lesser fifth had midway passed and all the lesser four were peopling the land, the lords of dark intent arose. They said, not so shall go the force. The forms and ruthless of the third and fourth, within the corresponding fifth, approach too close the archetype. The work is far too good. They constructed other forms. They called for cosmic fire. The seven beasts of the hell belched forth the animating shades. The incoming seventh reduced to order all the forms, the white, the dark, the red, and shaded brown. The period of destruction extended far on either hand. The work was sadly marred. The Chohans of the highest plane gazed in silence on the work. The Asuras and the Chaitans, the sons of cosmic evil, and the Rishis of the darkest constellations. 28. STANZASOFBZYAN 29. Gathered their lesser hosts, the darkest spawn of hell. They darkened all the space. From the coming of the heavens sent one piece cast upon the earth. The planet staggered and belched forth fire. Heart rose. Heart fell. The form was changed. Millions took other forms or ascended to the appointed place of waiting. They tarried till the hour of progress should again sound forth for them. The early third produced the monsters, great beasts and evil forms. They prowled upon the surface of the sphere. The watery fourth produced within the watery sphere, reptiles and spawn of evil fame, the product of their karma. The waters came and swept away the progenitors of the poetic spawn. The separating fifth built in the roof of sphere the concrete forms of thought. They cast them forth. They peopled the lower four, and like a black and evil cloud shut out the light of day. The higher three were hid. The war upon the planet had been waged. Both sides descended into hell. Then came the conqueror of form. He drew on the sacred fire, and purified the Rufa levels. The fire destroyed the lands in the days of the lesser six. When the six appeared the land was changed. The surface of the globe circled through another cycle. Men of the higher fifth master the lower. 30 A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E-O-N-C-O-S-M-I-C-F-I-R-E -E -E. 3. The work was shifted to the plane whereon the pilgrim stood. The lesser triangle within the lower auric egg became the center of cosmic dissonance. S-T-A-N-Z-A-X-I The wheel of life turns within the wheel of outer form. The matter of foe hat circulated, and its fire hardeneth all the forms. The wheel that is not glimpsed moveth in rapid revolution within the slower outer case, till it weareth out the form. The 49 fires burn at the inner center. The 35 circulating fiery vortices extend along the circle of the periphery. 
Between the two passive and ordered sequence the various colored flames. The great triangles in their just arrangement hold to the secret of the wheel of life. The cosmic fire radiates as directed from the second sphere, controlled by the ruler of the merging ray. The cohorts of the third encircling sphere in varied ranks mark out the lesser three. The wheel of life still moves within the form. The devas of the fourth connect the 35, and blend them with the central 49. Above they work, seeking to merge the whole. Upward they strive, who in their myriad forms revolve within the wheels of lesser magnitude. The whole is one, yet on the lower spheres only the forms appear. They seem in their divisions more than can be grasped or met. The many circulate, the forms are built, become too firm, are broken by the light, and circulate again. The few revolve, holding the many in the heat of motion. The one embraces all, and carries all from great activity into the heart of cosmic peace. 31. STANZAXII The Blessed Ones hide their threefold nature but reveal their triple essence by means of the three great groups of atoms. Three are the atoms and threefold the radiation. The inner core of fire hides itself and is known only through radiation and that which radiates. Only after the blaze dies out and the heat is no longer felt can the fire be known. 32. STANZAXIII Through the band of violet that encircles the heavens passeth the globe of purple dark. It passeth and returneth not. It becometh enwrapped in the blue. Three times the blue enfoldeth. And when the cycle is completed the purple fadeth and is merged into the rose, and the path again is traversed. Three the great colors in the cycle that counteth as the court, violet, blue and rose, with the base of purple in revolution. Four are the colors secondary in the cycle of discrimination in which the revolution taketh place. It is circled to the midmost point and somewhat past. Yellow the band that cometh, orange the cloud that hideth, and green for vivification. Yet the time is not yet. Many the circling fires, many the revolving rounds, but only when the complementary colors recognize their source, and the whole adjusteth itself to the seven will be seen completion. Then will be seen each color in adjustment right, and the cessation of revolution. 33. SECTIONONE Fire by friction the fire of matter introductory remarks 37 Division A. THEINTERNALFIRESOFTHESHEATHS 55 B. THEPERSONALITYRAYANDITSRELATIONTOFIRE 69C PRANANDTHETHERICBODY 77B KUNDALINANDTHESPINE 134E MOTIONONTHEPHYSICALANDASTRAL claims 141F. THELAWOFECONOMY 214. Section 1. INTROVUCTORYMARKS. I. 2. 3. Fire in the macrocosm. Fire in the microcosm. Fire in manifestation. W.E. purpose in these few introductory remarks to lay down the foundation for a 
treatise on cosmic fire, and to consider the subject of fire both macrocosmically and